more model has an atom consisting of a small positively charged nucleus orbited by the negatively charged nucleus. Here's a closer look at the Bohr's model, which is sometimes called the Rutherford Bohr's model. Niels Bohr proposed the Bohr model of an atom in 1915 because the Bohr model is a modification of the earlier Rutherford model. Some people call Bohr's model the Rutherford Bohr model. The modern model of a new atom is based on quantum mechanics. The Bohr model contains some errors, but it is important because it describes most of the accepted features of atomic theory. It out of all high-level math, the modern version. Unlike earlier models, the Bohr model explained the Rydberg formula for a spectral emission lines of atomic hydrogen. The Bohr model is a planetary model in which the negative charged electrons orbit a small positively charged nucleus similar to planets orbiting the Sun. The gravitational force of the solar system is mathematically akin to the column force between the positively charged nucleus and the negatively charged electrons. Main points of the Bohr model. First, electrons orbit the nucleus in orbits that have a set size and energy. Second, the energy of the orbit is related to its size. The lowest energy is found in the smallest orbit. And lastly, radiation is absorbed or emitted when electrons move from one orbit to another. Here's a simplest example of Bohr's model for the hydrogen atom of the hydrogen light ion, in which a negative charged electrons are with a small positively charged nucleus. Electromagnetic energy will be absorbed or emitted if an electron moves from one orbit to another. All certain electrons orbits are permitted. The radius of the possible orbit increases and n raised to 2 for n is a principal quantum number. The 3 to 2 transitions produces a first line of the Balmer series. For hydrogen, this produces a photon heaving wavelength of 656 nanometer.